So nowadays technology is advancing really fast. We had the 3090, then we had the 4090, 12th gen, 13th gen, 14th gen, talks of 15th gen Intel. Everything feels like it's moving really fast in the tech world, which it usually is in tech. Everything's going up fast. But in my opinion, a lot of people tend to write off the old tech because of this. People write off 8th gen, 6th gen, or they write it off like old GPUs, which is still pretty popular, like the 1060. People even disregard the 16 series, which is pretty popular still, and not all that old. So today I want to prove a point. I've gotten a GPU that is about 10 years old and I want to see if it can still game. This my friends is the GTX 970 by ASUS. It is a very cool card in my opinion. I've had this one for a little while. It's got a half decent heat sink, heat pipes and is a half decent sized card. 4 gigabytes of RAM. Not bad speeds either. So what I want to do is chuck it on my test bench and let's figure out is this GPU that is that came out in 2014 still good in 2024? Now just while I'm taking off my glorious gigabyte 3060 of off my test bench. I want to talk about my a little bit of my experience with this card. This was one of the first graphics cards I ever bought. I bought it second hand when I first got into this, into computers. I didn't exactly have a job and so I was going on a budget and I got it second hand for like $20 AUD which it was a bargain. This was a few years back now. I got this graphics card dirt cheap. It wasn't my first ever graphics card. That was the 1050 Ti, the Gigabyte Low Profile version that I've talked about in the past. But I got that as a gift from my parents when they were trying to encourage me to get into a new hobby when I was talking about interesting computers. But this was one of the first ones I bought with my own money. Honestly, it was an older card because I built my first computer for like $150 AUD. How I did that was just spending months scaring Marketplace and Gumtree and stuff for, for good deals. And so this graphics card is served me well in the past but that was a few years back now my main rig i've got the 4060 ti at the second i still really have hopes for this card i remember it being really good and really powerful actually but it's 10 years old now the card is on the test bench let's check if it's actually any good now just quickly talking about some of the specs of this card it's got two dvi ports a hdmi and a display port its base clock is 1050 megahertz usually boost clock around 1178 well it varies a little bit from card to card but that's generally the range. Four gigabytes of memory of GDDR5, PCI3, and has access to things like DirectX 12 and a few other things like that. Modern enough to still be good in my opinion, but I'm, ho I'm holding out hope. I reckon it's gonna be a good card still. The specs for the test bench it's on currently is an AM4 test bench, B55 MSI Pro motherboard, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 3200 megahertz, and a Ryzen 5600X, which should not be a bottleneck for this card at all. But with that, let's hit the power switch and give it life. Spins to life. The cards fans are not spinning, but I I think that's normal. I'm pretty sure this card's actually got booting into Windows. Your card still works, obviously. Now that you know the specs of the test bench and know a bit about my experience with the card, let's get into testing, shall we? Let's start off with some benchmarking on good old 3D Mark. Because I can confirm we've got the drivers on Task Manager. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970. Recommended benchmarks are Steel Nomad Lite, benchmark for lightweight PCs, which is interesting. We've got 3D Mark loaded up. Let's quickly run some Time Spy first. Got the demo running. While it wasn't spinning before, we've officially got movement from the GPU fans, as you can see in there. So let's see how this goes. We've got a t we've got the Time Spy score, and I am very impressed by this. The graphics score is 3,552, uh, which not only beats our scoring of the 1050 Ti, which was only about 2,000. It actually beats out our scoring for the GTX 1650, which was at about 2,500. We'll see if the rest of the benchmarks hold up. It doesn't have as many features, but next let's run Fire Strike Extreme. Got it running now. Here are our scores for Fire Strike Extreme. And you know what? It asked me to. Let's run Steel Nomad Lite. It's the recommended, apparently. It's running. And with that, that's our score for Steel Nomad Lite. But now that we've done that, let's try some games. Running Ultra Kill, just because it's a basic game. 500 frames with enemies actually on screen. And the GPU is having a grand old time right now. Plenty of frames. Also just running Portal 2 for the sake of it. There's no harm in some extra testing. GPU is starting to get up there admittedly, but it's running it at like 300 FPS. There's no issue there. There's no issues with Portal 2. Playing some Skyrim, which is capped by the refresh rate, but 30% on the GPU and it is chilling for the time being. No issues. Running 2018's God of War. The GPU is now finding a challenge. It's on 99%, but it's still on 50 FPS. And this is on original. Uh, settings not low truthfully this is 100% playable between 40 and 50 fps look it's not great it's rougher that's for sure but it's not nearly as bad as i thought it'd be honestly pretty solid especially because you could go lower settings as well you know what running doom eternal now and it's running pretty solid gpu is at like 100% it's struggling a little that's for sure but it's running above 60 fps which is certainly playable for a gtx 970 
that was released in 2014. Running Doom Eternal like this is so solid. And just for a last little quick test, we've got Assassin's Creed Unity, which is running at again about 70, 60 to 70 FPS, which is honestly pretty goddamn impressive. For a, yeah, for a 10 year old GPU that I bought dirt cheap second hand, that's very good. And with that, that is the GTX 970, an old card from 2014 that you know what has really impressed me. This is still a very valid option for gaming with and using in a PC. It's still supported. It's got most of the current features you need for gaming. It'll run most modern games. Its core count is like double the 1650 or the 1050 Ti. I'm just really overall impressed with this graphics card. But I want to know, what graphics card do you run? And what do you and what did you used to run? Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It would help out a ton. I'm a small creator and every little bit helps. I hope to see you in the next one. Try it a little something different different with this video with a more stable tripod and stuff also got some better camera gear on the way soon things like a dji osmo mobile 6 gimbal hopefully the videos be getting a bit getting a bit better soon but i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe there's some things on screen that you can click for some of my other videos that i'm sure you'll enjoy and i'll see you next time Bye bye